Hello, hello, this is Old Twit Talks Cars. Uh, you may have seen, I doubt very much, but you may have seen my previous video, uh, which you can see here, which is uh, Car Hunting 101, which just outlines some of the tools that I use to find the cars that I want. Uh, some of you will know all about it, know much more than I do about it, etc. But sometimes it's useful just to run over these things for people that have missed it previously. And what I wanted to add here is how eBay's a great tool, probably not one of my favourite car hunting tools, but is a great tool in one respect that probably the others don't offer. So I just wanted to show you that very quickly here. So what I'm going to do is bang in here a car that I really like a lot, see a couple around my area and I've always liked them. Um, uh, and it's the Fiat Panda 100 horsepower cars. So if you read my blog, which is at talkscars.com, you'll see that um, I'm a big Fiat fan. Really, I love all cars, but uh, I like the Panda. I've had a Panda before, but not the 100 horsepower. Uh, I think 100 horsepower in a small car like this is a real optimum sort of setup. So anyway, that's by the by. That's for another day. So I wanted to just show you this. So here are the um, Fiat Panda 100 horsepowers that are showing up. So you've got a selection here at around 2,500, uh, 1850 amazingly there's one at five nearly six grand which is uh, a 29,000 mile car so again i think these are our, uh, an up and coming classic i genuinely do so anyway there's a bunch of cars there again not many it's not a very common car anymore i guess a lot have probably been scrapped so um yeah you've got five or six cars there what's important for me and what i find useful is when i'm going to look at a car and particularly um, whether it's privately owned or being sold by a dealer is it's useful to have up your sleeve um, some information about what these cars are actually achieving when they get sold. So what you can do if you scroll down um, to the bottom here, and you'll see here show only. So uh, you can you can click sold items, and that will show only the cars that have actually sold. So you'll see here. Um, the green numbers uh, indicate that that car has sold through eBay uh, and you'll see what those cars actually achieved. So there's a nice one there, uh, sold not so long ago, February 2020, 71,000 uh, miles. It says reg date 1970, that's clearly wrong. Um, it's a 56 plate car, so it's uh, 2006. Um, and that sold for £1,150. So uh, obviously you can click into the description and just check that there's not any mitigating uh, circumstances why that was a lot cheaper than some of the ones that we've just looked at for sale. So like I say, it's a recently sold car. Uh, there's a couple more here. I can only assume that the crossed out ones are where an offer was accepted, but then that um, sale didn't didn't go through for whatever reason. So potentially, I think that's what the crossed out ones mean. But again, you see here, uh, you've got a, got one there, which is an 07 car, um, achieved 2,200 pounds. So again, 76 and a half thousand miles. So again, it's just interesting information to have up your sleeve, particularly if you're going to a dealership to buy a car that they've got on offer. And you've then got some information to go, look, these cars are actually selling for this price. And when they go, how do you know? You could go, some old tweet on YouTube told me. So anyway, there you go. Um, more videos to follow. Please make sure you check out my blog on TalksCars.com because you've probably got a lot of time on your hands at the moment. Um, and it's better than watching paint dry, but only marginally. So anyway, hope to see you soon. Uh, stay safe and see you again.